Well, that concludes our, our, our little session on workflows. And the last, uh, the last uh, aspect of Oracle Content Server uh, that I want you to look at is uh, security. And uh, the reason I want you to look at this last is because there's no other subject in Oracle Content Server that has that caused so much confusion uh, to people and uh, so much inconvenience, basically, uh, just because just because people misunderstand it, just because it's different. Uh, as security and uh, I'm actually offering you the key uh, to uh, keeping a clear head and not getting confused when it uh, comes to Oracle security and you'll find that very easy to understand uh, if as long as you keep uh, Oracle security comes with uh, several models and several layers of security and as long as you keep uh, those layers separate, uh, you will not get confused. You will just stay clear and uh, you will manipulate that with ease. And uh, you just uh, assume and uh, you protect your point of view uh, at all costs that uh, different layers of security model are completely separate. You do not mix it. Oracle documentation actually mixes that and it puts them together, I recommend that you keep them separate. And uh, there are two, uh, in some cases three, uh, levels of security. Um, and by security I mean authorization, because authentication and uh, monitoring, logging components are pretty much clear. Uh, content Server uses its own authentication, it can also use, uh, it can also integrate with LDAP for authentication. Uh, but most of the confusion is happening around authorization, which is uh, an understanding of who can do what on the system. What the particular user can do, uh, what they can view, what they can edit, uh, what they can delete uh, on the system. And that's what authorization has to do with. And uh, the two uh, really important layers of authorization is role-based security, which is the basic security that uh, every single content server comes with and there is a content accounts and again uh, please uh, keep them separate never mi ever mix them uh, do not they don't interact uh, together there are two layers there are two locks uh, imagine the door with two locks and that would be lock number one if it's open no matter no matter what happening to lock number two uh, the door may be open or closed, it's completely controlled by lock number 2 actually. If it's closed, no matter whether lock number 2 is open or closed, the door will stay closed. So if lock 1 is closed or locked, uh, lock number 2 becomes completely irrelevant. It may be open or closed, but as soon as that lock number 1 is open, lock number 2 is the only thing that's left on the door and that's what determines whether the door is going to open or not. Uh, so just look at it that way. And uh, that said, we'll look at the first lock we we'll look at the role-based security. Uh, we'll look at... Uh, by the way, every uh, admin, uh, every admin applet has a little menu here. Uh, you can invoke it from here. Or you can just go through there. I will look at the user, uh, user admin. You can remove the filter. And uh, we'll look at the Alex's permissions. Right now he's a guest. Uh, and he has, every user has roles. And uh, role, uh, user's role determine uh, his access to uh, content groups. And uh, let's just back off for a second. And look, uh, let's look at uh, the metadata uh, fields at the content information field and uh, there is a field called security group uh, I, I hope you remember we looked at that field in the past and if you just update it it has different values it has either public secure or systems so if we take uh, if we take our entire uh, content repository I'll just clear the search criteria here. 
and for the search uh, to, to show. So if you look at uh, if you look at your database at the content of your content uh, at the content of the repository, uh, it it's like one big table pretty much. So the security group field uh, you can if if we had if we had two only two uh, values for security field for security group field sorry public and secure. Let's assume that the gray ones are secure and the white ones are public. So it's pretty much like a horizontal uh, layers uh, that cut across the entire repository, entire table. And uh, some of them will be secure, some of them will be public. And uh, some people will have access to both. Some people will only have access to the gray ones. Some people will only have access to the white ones. And the type of access can also be read uh, or read write or read write delete. And when you browse content uh, through uh, the folders, uh, uh, it ap actually security applies to that content. So if uh, a folder had, uh, uh, let's just go to IT again, and now we had uh, we have another folder in there, but we also have uh, four documents, and then we have two gray ones, uh, which we agree that, that that's going to be uh, secure documents and we have two white ones, the two public documents if I only had access to secure documents I would uh, I would only have uh, I would only see report doc and I would see the email message uh, F97 that, that was the email that we checked in from Outlook if I had access only to public but I had read only access to secure I would see all of them but I will not be able to change this document or the report or doc uh, it will it will show it to me as read only